Hello, this is Mr. Wolf again, and we are continuing to work on comparing fractions. In our last video, we asked an important question to start off when comparing fractions. And that question was, do the, do the fractions have a common denominator? And so we're going to start again with that and look at the denominator. That's the bottom part of the fraction showing how many equal parts our whole number has been broken into. And if we look here, we have five equal parts for our two-fifths and eight equal parts for our two-eighths. So our answer to the question, do the fractions have a common denominator, is no. So we have to ask another question. Do the fractions have a common numerator? Now the numerator is the number at the top of the fraction, which shows how many of those equal pieces we're working with. So for two fifths, we have two of the equal pieces. And for two eighths, we have two of the equal pieces. So we have common numerators. If we have common numerators, we now want the fraction with the, the larger fraction will be the one with the smaller number in the denominator. And the reason that is, is it's about how much we're splitting something into. So I'm going to show you the fraction bars for two fifths and two eighths. So now we have our fraction bars for two fifths and two eighths. And what you'll notice is the bars are both the same length because we're still breaking in one whole, and one whole doesn't change regardless of what it's broken into. But the pieces are different. For two fifths, we only needed to fit five pieces into our whole, whereas for two eighths, we had to fit a whole eight pieces into the whole. And what that meant is, the more pieces we needed to fit, the smaller each of the pieces were. And you will notice there that with two fifths becomes a lot more than two eighths because each of those fifths is a lot bigger than each of the eighths. So if we can think about this as sharing, if we have a candy bar and we're sharing it with five people, we're going to have a, be able to eat a lot more than if we have a candy bar that we're sharing with eight people. These two pieces getting shared with two people versus shared with eight people. So when we have like or common numerators, the number with the smaller denominator is going to be the greater fraction. So we now know that two-fifths is greater than two-eighths, or two-eighths is less than two-fifths. Hopefully this was helpful, and I'll see you again for the next step.